Hello everyone, Brett back Altitude Scale Modeling with another sprue review. Got a big one, a new one. Great Wall Hobbies, Flying Tiger Curtis Hawk 81A2. Look at this big box in 30 second scale. Super detail of engine, cockpit, landing gear, and interior. Exchangeable engine part, two choice of flaps and radiators. Come with one realistic pilot, six decal options, masking detail of photo its parts so it's got some 3d printed parts looks like this is a limited release so it's got a patch premium aviation series not sure if that's a new series here is one of the schemes from the third pursuit squadron kit number l3201 other side of the box oops bumped the camera so some CAD work. This actually looks like built up kit. This is all CAD work. So let's dig in. Alright. Looks like a little addendum to the instructions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. P decals, instructions. Um, three D parts in the box. Wheels, magnets, patch, and two things here. So. Over to the side. Let us begin with the wings. Pretty good size kit we got going on here. A wingspan of Just over 14 inches. And it's got some very nice detail. Rivets, panel lines, cockpit floor, raised and recessed, roller roller raised rivets right there. Looks like the back of a seat. Mm, antenna maybe looks like the tips for the wing guns so these parts here not sure what they are probably radiator but there you have it Lovely detail, especially right here on the cockpit floor. And this whole thing raised right through there. Same on the underside of the wings. Again. Take a wash nice. Separate parts where the tail is going to go. And one thing I forgot to check the underside of the wing. A lot of good structure and ribbing in there. Gonna make for a very sturdy wing sections. Alright, back to where we were. 
again, nice rivet, panel line detail, access port detail. I'm guessing these are the flaps. Hatch. Looks like a map pocket. So you get to see. Now, most of us have built one of these in 48 scale or 30 second scale. This is a brand new tool. We all enjoy great wall hobby stuff. There's these panels. Sorry, I was one light short. Inside, again, nice structural detail. Not much in the cockpit area, but I'm sure it's going to be highly detailed and built up. Here's how our access panel goes. This one right here. And you can see the inside of it. You can pose it open, not a problem. Alright. I'm just going to keep on going down the list now. Down the pile. Wheel wells, tail, elevators, rudder, tail wheel. Looks like the underneath. So we are gonna have posable horizontal stabilizers, posable rudder, smaller parts, good fabric detail on those, and these. And good rivet detail on all these. Inside the landing gear bay, fabric. This looks like part of where the flaps are going to go. But nice detail in there where the wheels are going to fold up into if you want them to. Here, I'd drill out all those lightning holes. I would. There's the underneath. I believe that's the underneath spine so it'll cover any seam line at the bottom. Two halves of your elevators, a bunch of little parts, rudder, and your tail. Horizontal, vertical, underside. No ejector pin marks in the way anywhere around here. Your ailerons are one piece. With some really nice detail right here. Oh yeah, look at the tail wheel and the doors on it. Really nice. So far, living up to Great Wall Hobby's normal standards of quality. And another one. This has got engine. It's got a full engine. Full engine, engine mounts. Looks like landing gear legs. Valve covers. Exhaust. Various other parts of the engine. Blower. I don't know what this square part here is, but the instructions will tell us. Check. Um, no real burring on any of these round parts or on the landing gear legs. You know, I don't think those are landing gear legs. I think those are part of the engine mounts. So, engine blocks. Cylinder heads looking really nice. Maybe this is so you can mount the engine outside of it. Cylinder heads, valve covers. Very 
various parts of the engines which I do not know what they're called. Flip side, you can see, no flash, no burring. It's looking really nice. Cockpit detail. Sidewalls for the cockpit, instruments, radios, bulkheads, instrument panel. Looks like the guns for the cowl. There's your landing gear legs. Throttle. Your rudder and your elevator controls. Very, very nice detail. Radio, hoses. Bulkheads. There's your main parts for your guns. Bulkhead, your instrument panel. It's got raised bezels. So if there's decals in there, you'll be able to put them on there nicely. Looks like a cup holder. It's not, but looks like it. Rudder pedals. Various parts that are going to go in the cockpit. And your landing gear legs. I do not see any burring on the landing gear legs or any seam lines. Nice touch. Um, the ejector pins are on this side, which will be against the fuselage. They're on these sides, which will be not seen. Same here, same here. So they did a good job of laying this out. And here we have the engine cowlings. Prop. Uh, wing roots. Fuel tank. Spinner. Radiator. So maybe... No, because that would have to be panels. Probably cut away to show the engine if you wanted to. Prop. No burring, no flash. Oxygen bottle, maybe. Spinner. Just said, here's your wing root parts. That'll help hide that seam line. Your engine cowling. Fuel tank. Another center line part. A really nice panel line detail on there. Spinner, prop, side. There's lots of ejector pin marks in there, so if you are going to display it open, you have to clean them up. There you go. Beautiful. We're going to start getting into some of the smaller parts. I'm going to do something I rarely do and not open. Keep the same. KJ, no. But, see how fine all these parts are. Very thin, very fine. Hoses, wiring, like your spark plug leads for the engine. This one, same thing, hosing, pipe, control surfaces, parts, don't want to risk breaking those. So I know if I tried to put them in the bag, I'd break them. These are sprues J and K. Here, this is a match set. Don't know why they started using staples. These are a match set, both sprue G, more cockpit parts, guns, 
radiator parts. So, the guns were slide molded, but the barrels don't look hollowed. These, on the other hand, do look hollowed. And another bulkhead, could be the engine bulkhead. Your radiator parts, maybe some PEs included to make those nicer. Various little parts, bits, the other side. Again, the detail in the back of this is very nice. I'm guessing that's part of the spinner too. But the front and back detail, very nice. Just then, matching. Okay. Here are the exhaust tips. Two matching ones again. And these are hollowed out nicely. Both sprue H. Hollowed out nicely, very nicely slide molded, and a couple little parts here on both. They almost look like um, to raise a hatch. And one last screw of regular plastic, which has the pilot. Oh, well, that's right, there's rubber wheels. So I'm guessing these are the wheels you would use if you're doing it with gear up. And then some hoses. That's my thought, because there's only half a wheel. Here's your pilot, and looks like a seat cushion. Looks kind of softly molded. May need a little clean up, a little scrape out to highlight those parts a little more. Okay, so here's the actual wheels, rubber wheels. No riding on them, very soft, including the rubber tail wheel. You get three magnets for holding something. And you get a patch. Flying Tigers Air AVG 80, 80th anniversary. Nice touch. The little box. This has got to be where the clear parts are. And I'm right. Grey Wall Hobby is very well known for how amazing their clear parts look, and these are no exception. No distortion. Landing lights. The bottom viewer. What else is in here? Here's your 3D printed gun barrels. Oh well these are going to show up but they are the air jackets are hollowed out. Six of them and they do have again I don't know if you see it but they do have hollowed ends. Let's try something. Well, didn't work very well. Take my word for it. It's got hollowed ends out and uh, slots for the cooling jackets. Nice way to keep these safe. Alright. Here. I'm going to take this out because this is a very thin photo etch. Looks like braces for the flaps. And then various other photo etch parts. 
I said, this is a very thin sheet, and here's those radiator vents I was hoping were in here. So you'll be able to detail them a little more. So two nice sheets of PE. Seat belts are in there too. And decals, masks. So you get a kind of a little trading card looking thing embossed with details of the aircraft. You get pre cut mask. You get all the proper markings, insignia. You get several different shark mounts. And all the rest of your data. These are made in China. They're not cartographed, but they look really good. Cut really close. Not a lot of decal film except between the numbers. Between the numbers. So, three nice sets of decals. Masks. Trading card. Making bag. Before we do the instructions, you get two poster size sheets. So, one, which appears to me to be the right size. So you can able to photocopy it and use it for your camouflage masking if you so desire. Okay. This one's the 3rd Pursuit Squadron. And then... Uh, this one just shows a whole bunch of different ones from different Pursuit Squadrons. Because remember, six marking options. These are the other five. All sides. This would be nice to hang up on the wall. And finally, the instruction sheet. I like all the most great wall these days. It comes apart. So you get your cover. You got your sprue map. And you got your color callouts, which are. Mr. Color. So, just figure out which ones you want to use. And we start right here with the photo edge harnesses. Where's those? Sorry, I didn't see instrument panel decals. Yep, they're all separate. So you'll be able to put them on those nice bulge displays one at a time. Which won't be as bad as stencils on an F4 Phantom, but... Alright, start with the seat, the seat belt. Brackets for the seat, and you start on the cockpit walls. Obviously, you want to paint it before you start putting decals in because there's decals for the side placards. Head on over here, finishing up the cockpit tub, which is all by itself. Then you're going to put some hoses, and it's telling you the colors, and there's some mixtures of colors here, so you need to figure that out. Fuel tank, uh, is that an oxygen tank? And then more bulkheads, back for the tail. Okay. Then you're putting your fuselage halves together with the cockpit inside. More parts on the front, some more decals. Putting it all together. Tail, the rudder, the elevators, the horizontal stabilizers, 
some PE, so pay attention to those. And there you go. Rudder, and like I said, the wheel well. Some hoses for that. There's like those parts that I said you want to clean up the lightning holes for the flaps. Your guns. Um, some more bracing for the cockpit. Your control stick you're putting in on top of the wing. And then another control. Flaps maybe. And then how they look when they're in there correctly. Here's some fun. If you're going to do your flaps and use the PE, there's your folding guide. There's how you're going to line them up. Attaching them to that. And sitting them on the top of the flap, which is the bottom of the wing. And there's some more PE for the, is that the radiators. Could be. And then some more PE for the flaps, the other part of the flaps. So, it said it had two position flaps. I wonder if this is position one here with them closed. And then this is position two here with them open. There's your wing roots going on, your seat going in. Some more PE for the top of the wings. Some more hosing. Some more PE. There's that spine I was talking about. That'll take care of any... Well, there's no seam there anyway because that wing is one piece. So there's your rubber wheels for gear down. And then a decal for the wheels, the wheel hubs. Gear ups, like I said, half a wheel. If you want to do gear up. And that's these parts here that I wasn't sure. Here, here. Part of landing gear bay. Wheels up, wheels down. Sorry. Somebody just either walked by or drove by. Don't know which. But the dog likes making noise. Yep, somebody's walking their dog outside. No biggie. Okay, so gear up, gear down, rubber tire for the tail. If you want to use it closed, you can. You want to open, you can. Gear up, gear down. Same with the tail wheel closed. Then your two different radiators, you have to decide which one you want to use. Your intake cowling up there and your gun ports for the nose. So this is showing putting it together with no engine. Okay. Here is the engine going together. I love building engines. Lots of detail parts. We should name the parts. Back of your spinner. So Nicely detailed engine. Again, your braces to mount your engine. Radiator. This hose is showing it goes in like this. It's colored, so same on this side, so it makes it easier to see how to do it. Lots of detail on that engine. Again, more detail. There's your tanks going on there. More hosing. Exhaust, more bracing, more hosing, exhaust again, yep, it's an engine stand. So I don't know if you actually put the engine in this thing, if you can, or if you just display it separately. So you can put the engine in and leave the cowling off. Here's how it looks. So you'd still build the whole cowling, but you'd leave it off and display the engine. That's what the magnet's for. So you can attach the engine or attach the cowling. Nice touch. Gun sight and PE. Canopy going on. There's your door open or closed. 
masking up the canopy. And your pilot. There you have it. That's a big kit full of lots of detail. So, if you're a Flying Tiger fan, this is the kit for you. Just like building good World War II aircraft, this is a kit for you. If you like Great Wall Hobby, this is a kit for you. Because there's so many options. I like that engine open, engine closed, or engine attached, engine not attached thing. Pay attention to magnetic pole because you're putting one magnet on the firewall. Okay, so there you have it. Thanks for watching. Go pick one up at your favorite hobby store near you. Or get your ass to the bench and build a model. Until next time. Oops, forgot to show you the addendum for the fuel tank, the rudder pedals with PE, attaching the flap parts, part of the engine, and part of one of the radiators. So there's their little addendum to fix some mistakes in their instructions. Now, back to the bench.